put the shoe down onto the linoleum. There you go. tiny red button that's in the shadow of everything first the power buttons there C1 C2 all that stuff's good so but the then there's this little here. there's this little black button with a red dot in the middle and I, I guess that's for lawsuits so you know they want to make sure damn sure you're pressing record so I guess uh, Sony doesn't get sued. Three, four, five. Nick, you know how to count to five. Woohoo! now for the kitchen sink all the way to the bathroom. Okay, good, good. Okay, now I'm going to get the sink out of here. We got this sketchy ass wood saw from the house. It's the only thing that hasn't actually been stolen. And we're going to see if it actually works. Uh, we forgot our newer one back home, so we're going to see how this works. Now, the whole point of why we got this wood saw and everything is because we are making an access box under the subfloor for all the plumbing. For the manifolds, the sediment filter, all that stuff. 
because basically what we're doing is before we put the floor in, we're actually going to be doing the plumbing. But we're still going to be doing some woodwork because we got to make this box. And then once we got everything, all the plumbing set up the way we want it, then we can put the floors in and move on to the next stuff, which would be the walls and the shower plumbing and that stuff. <laughs> Alright, would you mind plugging that in? So let's see how this sketchy thing works. Alright. So work? Well, it doesn't automatically come on. That's good. This, this switch works. Nope. It's dead. Oh, it's jammed in here. Oh, I'm going to plug that for you. So this is no good. What was it? Go ahead and plug it in. It doesn't work, so. Okay. So the other thing that is uh, scrap metal garbage in the house, so it don't work. That's probably why it wasn't stolen. <laughs> they knew it. How'd they know it? Because it looks a bit janky anyway, so. Because they stole it.
abandon your position for a little bit of freaking glue on your fingers. wobbly at first and they don't dig right in. I would expect that as soon as they turn they're going to dig right in. It's time to bring the box into place and drill. Alright, so I guess these things, I've got to get these out. You can just rip them out one. Just moving them out of the way. Just be careful that they're there. I like how tight it is. I'm just going to hold it in place. Whoa. I oh, it's yeah. All the way through. This one's real tight. It's probably not going anywhere. Here. This is flush here. That's flush there. Now I think that's flush. Feel it. Feel yeah. it. Feel it here. Is that where? You, so we just have to crank it back. Cause this is twisted. See. Oh, okay.
raise up a little bit. That's good. Alright. good. Yeah. And this won't get in the way of sliding. That's why I was thinking of a little bit of gap because I didn't want that to, you know, like so. Box is in. Now we can run all our plumbing to it. If you're not happy with it, you can loosen the screws up and make it flush. Mm. Or you can just leave it. And this one's just in. We'll never see it. Whatever happens, we'll never see it. Yeah, it's fine. Just as long as the glue seals all this. Um... So they usually label it. It's a hot. It's cold. Open this door. Put it on his baby. So that's how you install a faucet. Uh, apparently I had to uh, put a valve on the hot side as well because there's no valve internally. So it just shot right out. Good thing I had a pan. But now it's all together. I got my new sink ready to go. So then all I gotta do is run a hot line when I have my water heater and have all this done. That's floor work and all that crap done. Alright, so we're in the process of pulling this toilet so we can figure out why the seal around it is, keeps leaking and it's bringing in all those flies. Alright, so this is disconnected. We're going to lift the toilet right into that space. Okay. Ready? So, so much for the wax seal, it just, it's not, it just fell apart, seems to have not worked. So we got one of these rubber seals that supposedly deletes the wax seal. And we're going to see if that works. And if that works, then probably never going back to a wax seal. Because it makes no sense to have all this mess. When you can just have a rubber it, seal. This thing, you know, look how high 
the opening is. It doesn't. So here's your wonderful instructions. So one, go watch a video, waste your yeah. data. Number two, um, clean your surface. Number three is uh, install the new studs. Number four is basically determine what the hell you have here. So in this case we have an above flange. And then once you determine we got an above flange here. Then uh, remove spacer from seal. Install seal over flange by sliding bolt holes Nothing over sense. bolts. So we don't even need a spacer, we just put the rubber thing in, which would be this. This is all we need to put in. If yours is below the floor, then you'd have to install this thing. So this is above the floor. Yeah. So yeah. what is it that we need? So all we need is this. So if this goes in, you see what the problem is? Yeah. It's, this is not, I mean, it's a little bit of a problem. It might... It's not designed to go in this tiny little... Well, maybe we need to get a new flange. I guess it is, it's getting in there, so if we spin this... <laughs> and, I yeah, and then six you got your toilet hey, installed and six. so does this go down here yeah to hold that stud like that yeah I'm not even looking at mine. Oh, oh, oh. I got mine. I don't have mine. Yeah, mine's in. Sure's in? Yeah. 